Hello viewers and welcome to my YouTube channel, Save My Humble Self, MC Bernardino. This is Canada Reality, where I bring to you the sounds and sights and sounds of Canada, fun speed, everything you need to know about Canada, and also immigration news, especially for those that want to migrate to Canada. So on today's episode, I'll be bringing to you what are the things that you need to be doing right now uh, during this pandemic period of COVID-19, what are the preparations you need to put in place right now so that when the coronavirus is virtually over, you can, your transition to Canada, your migration to Canada can be smooth and everything work out for you. So these are the things that you should be doing now in preparation towards when this whole pandemic is over. Adventure is your first time on this channel. I want to employ you to kindly uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel right below. There's a notification bell beside it. Click on it so that anytime I drop a video, you'll be among the first to get it. And if you enjoy this video, why don't you just hit on the likes button? Thank you very much. So, like I said earlier, on, I'll be telling you what are the things you need to do right now. I mean, COVID 19, you can't do so many things, you can't migrate to Canada, but there are some things you should be doing right now in preparation so that when this whole pandemic is all over, the transition to Canada will be smooth. So the first thing I want to tell you would be that um, you should start preparing for your IELTS exam. I know presently now most in most countries, IELTS can't be done because of the pandemic. I know that, but what you can be doing instead is you can start preparing for your exams by practicing your listening, your speaking, your reading, your writing. And uh, I know of some few websites that you can use. I know of uh, IELTS release. That's a website that I'll be linking in the video description below. And also you can do your own additional research online to uh, try to improve your English, your speaking, your writing. This is an avenue for you. You can do so much, but you can practice your IELTS exam, study online. If you have a group of friends, I mean, do do study together, prepare yourself so that eventually when this whole pandemic is all over, you can immediately register for your IELTS examination and uh, do it right away and you don't have it, you don't have to waste time. I mean, it doesn't make any sense if this whole pandemic is all over and you have to start reading and you have to pick a date and you're looking at adding more months to that. So it's better for you to start preparing right now so that when this whole COVID-19 is all over, it's very easy for you to just pick a date for your exam, write your exam, and you will come out in flying color and the transition to Canada. Another thing again that you might want to look at doing right now will be creating your express entry profile. I mean, that's this is a very good opportunity for you to actually create your express entry profile. And um, all you have to do is just log in online to the IRCC website. I'll be linking to I'll be linking the description to that in this video. Just go online create your profile for the express entry you can actually do that now and i know you have limited if you have all the information if you have your words already if you have done your ielts examination even if the score you have is not up to what you expect that is not up to 455 which was the last draw you can still go ahead to create your profile right now and uh, remain in the pool i always tell people create be on the pool because you might want to take advantage of it there are still some provinces that are still going into the pool right now and picking um, qualified candidates. So you might just want to use this opportunity of this pandemic to just go into the pool, create your profile. Because another advantage of that is that the draw, the score might be lowered because they have limited people in the pool, right? So you want to take advantage of that. Just like I told you, the last draw that was done was 455, which was the lowest we've seen in a long time. So you might just want to create your profile. Even if you are, your score is 300, whatever, create the, create the profile. So you might want to use this period of pandemic COVID-19 to just create your profile in the express entry so that eventually if any draw is done during this period you might be lucky and you might that you might want to do it during this period of pandemic is that uh, you might want to create uh, look at the provincial nominees I mean just like I said provincial nominees are there for you to exploit and there are so many provinces out there that are still inviting people based on their qualification based on their work experience, based on what they've done in the past. So you might want to use this period of uh, pandemic sit at home to research some of these provinces. I might just want to recommend some provinces that I feel they are less competitive that you might want to look into. Provinces like Nova Scotia, you might want to look into that. You want to look at uh, Manitoba. You want to look at Prince Edward Island, um, Saskatoon. Ontario is not left out to British Columbia, but you might want to look at those provinces in the uh, Atlantic region, Alberta. Those provinces, they are less competitive as compared to Ontario as compared to British Columbia. Quebec is not left out too. So these provinces, they offer routes for people to migrate into uh, Canada. I mean, it's, as compared to um, Express Entry, you might want to exploit that. So some of these provinces, what they look out for are 
you are looking for what work experience do you have? What have you done in the past? So I know of nursing, medical doctors, uh, butchers, I mean, those that work in the agricultural sectors. So these are areas that you feel you have the experience. You might want to look into this aspect and uh, just take your time to research these provinces. I might not be able to give you all the information you want because I know some people are asking me this question, which one can you recommend? I've recommended some for you now, but you can also go further to do additional research on these provinces and um, take advantage of them and try to submit your application. Even if you don't meet what the cut-off is, I still encourage you to submit your application in these provinces. And who knows, a draw might be done, they might reduce the score, and at the end of the day, you are selected to apply. So that's something I've been looking at doing right now, during this uh, pandemic period while you're staying at home, and you want to migrate to Canada, will be uh, researching schools. I mean, for those of you that want to come to Canada to study permit, to the study route, you might be looking at researching schools. There are so many schools that you can actually come into Canada. If you want to come to college, if you want to come to university, this might be a good time for you to start making research. It's so windy out there, so that's why the camera is a bit shaky. I hope you can hear me properly. So you can start researching on schools to see what school you can want to come to. I can recommend uh, findthischool.org. Um, through that website, you can actually uh, key in Canada. You can see so many colleges, so many universities here. So you might want to use this period. This is going to be a very good opportunity for you to research on uh, what school you can actually come to in Canada and uh, study in Canada. So take your opportunity to uh, research some of these schools online, go online, make your research and see which one is actually appropriate for you based on the course you want to study and based on your qualification. So I want you to leverage on that opportunity so that eventually when this whole COVID-19 and the coronavirus is all over, you can, uh, you must have settled with your school, you have chosen to you want to call it in Canada and uh, it will be very easy for you to transition properly. Oh, you have to. And even now, even after you must have chosen the school you want, you can still go further by applying online too. Application have been uh, accepted online. So go the extra mile, apply to the schools. If you get the admission, then you can also look at applying for your visa too online. If everything you do is online, I know um, Canada Immigration, they are still attending to people online. If you are not doing paper application, you can still, I mean, so many things you can do during this um, COVID-19 sit at home. So you don't want to use it as an excuse not to continue your process of transitioning into Canada, of migrating into Canada. So I feel I should just bring this video to you just to encourage you that in the midst of this pandemic, there are so many opportunities that are underlining. Don't be relaxed. Don't just say no, you can't do anything. There are so many things you can do. So I hope in this video I've been able to enlighten you on uh, what you can actually be doing this during this pandemic period. If you want to give excuse, your journey to Canada, your immigration plan to Canada cannot just die just because of COVID-19. So you can be using this opportunity. I told you that you can be using it to prepare for your IELTS exam. I'll be sharing in the video description below some websites where you can actually start practicing. Practice with your friends, practice online, make your own additional research. If you're coming into Canada to come and study, this might be a good opportunity for you to start studying, um, start researching for schools, uh, find the school.org, that's a website, I'll be linking more in this video description. And uh, uh, yeah, so find a school based on your course, based on your experience, and apply to these schools. And uh, you might even want to go for that to take, uh, apply for your visa application too. You can go for that, do that. Applications are still being accepted. So don't give an excuse because of COVID-19, because of that, you don't want to do anything. In addition to that, I told you that you can start researching some provinces that they are still accepting. Uh, candidate and you might want to take advantage of because some people are not doing it so the poll is not really so heavy so there are so little people in the poll because I mean people can't really do much during this period but if you have all the qualification you might just want to create your profile in the express entry too all right so if you enjoyed this video I mean hit the likes button that's the least you can do if you haven't subscribed to this YouTube channel please take a few minutes subscribe to this YouTube channel there's a notification bell beside it click on it so that anytime I drop a video you'll be among the first to get it and okay, so till I come back to you guys again with another wonderful, scintillating video on Canada Immigration, Canada Reality with MC Bernardino. I still remember my humble self, MC Bernardino. Till I see you again, thank you very much. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you. Bye for now.